Well, right here we've got a solid core, four panel door. Yeah. And uh, now the lock mortise has to get pushed into a mortise. All right. Now the average height for a doorknob is usually around 36 inches. Mm -hmm. All right. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to center this discussion right here on the panel. Okay. So if we take a rough measurement right there, okay, that's the height that we want the doorknob set at. Let's see what number that is. That is 37 inches. So that's good. Close enough to 36. Okay. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to find out the distance that we want to drill the hole for the knob to be at. So I want to keep the lock set flush with the edge of the door. Because that's where it's going to eventually sit. Exactly. I want to center it on my hole there, mm -hmm. on my height, there and then is. I want to take and mark the hole right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to hold it flat because I want to just give, me, give myself a little more play, mark the height. So it's an depth. outline that's a little bit wider than this uh, lock set. Right. We want a little bit of play when we slide it in. Mark the height, the depth, and I want a center line down the door, and that will be right there. And that's where we'll drill. Tommy, I like this homemade vise you've got here. This is great, Kevin. It's like a second set of hands, and it really holds the door up on its edge when we're trying to work on the edge. This is another little tool I like. It's a portable drill press. goes on any drill, and it will allow us to drill a hole squarely through the door. Okay. So the drill press doesn't rock on the edge of the door. I took a couple of scrap pieces of 2 by 6 and some scrap pieces of plywood, and I made a jig to sit on the edge of the door. <laughs> that was clever. Now we're ready to drill some holes. Center it up. Yeah, center it right on that line there. Okay, now our holes are drilled. All right, with the hole vacuumed out, I'm going to put a straight line on the outside edge of the holes on each side of the door. Because? This is where I'm going to chisel two. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm simply going to take my chisel and start removing the excess. All right, good. Let's see how we did. Oh, fits nice. in there very nice. Now this plate has to be flush with the edge of the door. So once I center it, I'm going to hold it into position and I'm going to mark around the perimeter. So just using a utility knife, not a pencil. Yeah, I want to get really close to have a nice tight fit. Nice gentle touch because I don't want it to run on me. I don't want to split this edge of the door here. All right, let's see how we did. Nice mm, and flush. That's nice. Next thing I want to do is take a scrap piece of wood and clamp it to the back side of the door. So when I drill through the face of the door, we won't damage the veneer on the back side. All right, let's see how it looks. Get this guy right in there. Works well. Looks great, Tommy. Some old character to new door. Nice job, Tommy. Thanks, Kevin. Mm -hmm.